Hi you guys, it's me Kat and I wanted to tell you something very exciting and it's something that I've heard about for the past couple of years because I have been on my quest for beautiful buttonholes as long as I can remember, even way back from the, I think it was late 1970s, I think 1979 and then 1980 when I first started doing buttonholes and back then, some of you even predate this, I had the two, three, two, one, or, or something like that. You had to keep turning the knob to get a perfect buttonhole. And then we came out with the one-step buttonhole and I discovered that in 2003 and it just totally changed my outlook on buttonholes because they were so easy to do. However, on thicker fabrics like coating fabrics and even denim jackets, I did struggle with getting nice buttonholes on my denim jackets. And I had to purchase stabilizer plates for both my machines because I tried both of them out to get a beautiful buttonhole. But then I got an idea, and this was one that I read about a couple years ago, and people were talking about using their embroidery machine to get beautiful buttonholes. So I decided to try that out. I purchased a design, it was 50% off the other day from Etsy, and I know I know, I always say, be very careful about purchasing designs off Etsy because you never know who digitized them. They could have run them through an automatic digitizing program and they may not be a great design. However, I figured, how can you screw up a buttonhole, right? A buttonhole is very basic. So I did purchase a design and it came in all formats with all different sizes of buttonholes in each format. So when I was making a new denim jacket, I'm making a teal and a pink, I decided to try out my embroidery machine to do the buttonhole. So I started with this pocket area right here, and you can see this is a beautiful, beautiful buttonhole. And this was done with metallic thread. There is no way that I would ever try doing a buttonhole with metallic thread on a sewing machine because I just think there are certain recipes for a disaster and that's one of them. But I put this under the needle of my embroidery machine and it did beautiful buttonholes and I want to show you how that worked out. But the true test is always to do it down the front of a denim jacket because even on this jacket right here, the area that I struggled with was right here at the top where you had this seam allowance and this one as well. So this is gonna be the true test of doing buttonholes and trying to get that elusive perfect buttonhole. And I'm gonna try all of the buttonholes on my next two jackets on my embroidery machine. And I'm really excited about this because I think with the embroidery machine, there's no feed dogs for the fabric to get hung up on. And you and I have been there. We all have been there where you go to do a buttonhole and all of a sudden it jams up under the foot and it goes nowhere and you're doing zigzag stitches in the same spot. And that just drives you crazy. So come and watch and I'm gonna show you how the buttonholes ended up on the pocket and then I'll do another one in the future that shows how they worked out down the front of a jacket. Totally new way to do buttonholes. And I'm so excited about this. Can't wait to try it out. So it's something I've been thinking about for a couple years and here I go. I'm going to put some buttonholes on my denim jacket. However, I'm going to be using my embroidery machine to do it. And I'm really excited about this because I've heard a lot of positive things about using embroidered buttonholes. So over here, I did two samples of the five eighths of an inch size and the three quarter inch size. What I did was I just stitched a buttonhole with the thread I'm planning on using. So check this out because this is the type of thread I would never use in my sewing machine. I use the silver metallic, which is the same silver metallic I used in the design on the back of my jacket. My embroidery machine did a beautiful buttonhole and now I'm going to work on the pocket flaps that I did for my jacket. So I'm gonna put this back in and turn the buttonhole around. I'm going to check on the previous jacket because I think the keyhole is supposed to be at the bottom. So I just have to make sure I have it placed right and I will be using the camera function on my embroidery machine to get the perfect placement. I'm using the five by seven hoop and I'm using the manufacturer's branded hoop so I don't have to worry about doing a tracing. And you can see right here, I imported the buttonhole and I did have to rotate it because the keyhole was on the right side. So I rotated it around and I'm going to make a copy of this and move it over into place. And the scan makes things really, really easy. So I'll just position this, go up a little bit. And I'm going to magnify this. I have it magnified at 125%. Now I'm at 200. So I can really see and make sure that everything 
is aligned perfectly. All right, so I think that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go over a little bit this way just to make sure everything is good. I think I can bring it up just a little bit because I drew that chalk mark line and I just wanna make sure that everything is perfect. Can't go up more than 200%, so I think I'm good. So I'm gonna go and embroider this. This is the scary part because <laughs> these are completed flaps and once I get this done, I can stitch them on, but I'm using beautiful metallic thread. <laughs> so I'm gonna to go to edit end and go to embroidery. And of course it wants to default to spool number one. And spool number one, I have brown, so I need it to go to number nine. And the easy way, easy quick way to do it is to just use my magic wand and I'll direct it to number nine. I'll go to the second buttonhole again to number nine. And now I'm set up to do this buttonhole. So I'll unlock the machine and I'm gonna focus in on the frame itself so you can see what's going on. All right, you guys, let's take a look at this. Successful, beautiful embroidered buttonholes. No hassle, no fighting with the feed dogs on my sewing machine. I'm not worried about it getting stuck and jammed on the feed dogs and it's just beautiful. And this is the beautiful silver metallic. If you know me in person, you know I always recommend King Star Metallic Thread because I just think it does a phenomenal job with minimal breakage. And whenever I use metallic thread, I'm always holding my breath because you know I don't want it to break. But there you go, easy way to do beautiful buttonholes. And now I'm ready to attach these flaps to my denim jacket. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. And that concludes this video on trying something new to do buttonholes, always in that quest. So maybe I don't have to buy that industrial buttonhole that I've always wanted because that's really, really expensive. I can save my money and I can do it on my embroidery machines from here on out. All right, thanks for watching.